Hello, I'm Chrissy Seaton. Why repentance works. Let's talk about that today. We've all done something in our past life that uh, perhaps we're not proud of or we're embarrassed about. It could be um, anger, laziness, cheating, lies, gossip, things like that or even more serious crimes such as murder, theft and so on. But I think the important thing that we need to remember about this is we are not chained to our past life. It's important to know that just as it was easy for some to fall into sinful ways, it also can be turned around. We can turn our life around. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how do we go about that? How does that happen? Well, I guess the first step is repentance. That's asking for forgiveness. And that begins when we make a very thorough examination of our conscience. And we must remember also that God is listening to us. God knows everything that is going on in our life. So he even knows that you're examining your conscience. So don't try to fool yourself because you certainly won't be feel, fooling God. So here's the point where you can actually bear your mind and your heart and your soul completely to God. Tell him what you've done wrong. Tell him why you um, want to change your ways. So after you've examined your conscience, this is where the prayer and the request for forgiveness really begins, in truth and honesty. So we also in that process, there's a returning to God, a, a connection or a reconnection to God. And also, we must bear in mind the seven Noahide commandments. And so we must, when we're asking for forgiveness, we must also be asking God to give us that courage and strength to follow a better path, to follow in the ways of our loving Father. We, you've got to make a really genuine resolve that you want to be a better person. And that's where that connection and praying comes in. That It's a marvellous help to you. So when you begin walking with God, it's a conscious thing that you do every minute of every day. And then it becomes almost automatic. You start to see the small miracles. You start to think about the blessings that you're receiving every day. And again, you'll receive tomorrow. And we appreciate our actual life, our actual self. And along with that, you need to learn to forgive yourself. You have to remember that God created you. He put you on this earth. You're not destined to be flawed product for the rest of your life. He wants you to connect with him and he loves you and he forgives you. So you have to also make that acceptance upon yourself. So the first thing is learning to forgive yourself. And of course, along with that, you have to forgive others. There are others that have crossed your paths or in your life that have wronged or hurt you and you have to forgive them in your heart. You really need to and that sets you free to a larger degree. So <clears throat> the next step, I guess, is learning to enjoy life and uh, because we walk in the footsteps um, side by side with our loving father. It doesn't mean we have to be somber and, you know, very, you know, serious and um, uh, stern or things like that because he created this earth for us to enjoy it 
and and enjoy being connected with him. So you've got to choose happiness. You've got to laugh a lot more and always have a smile on your face because this a smile is a universal language. It's very hard um, for someone to uh, not respond to someone who's smiling, especially when you're smiling directly at them. When you uh, choose to be happy and lead a new path, also you, you in, in doing that, you touch the lives of others as well. And um, the, the, doing this sets you free to, to, to um, be more uh, receptive to, to God's will. So touching the lives of others is also important. You must continue your repentance and prayer. And the reason I say that is because that releases you from your past. It sets you free and it projects you further on into a new and rewarding pathway. And, and it does really work. It works. I often say, just imagine if. I call it the J.I. factor. Just imagine if. If. And when I wake up some mornings, I think about this. So what a difference it would make if we did something in our life each day as a routine thing. What a difference will that make for me and for those around me, those I work with, those I live with, my community, etc. So you have to take that first step to do that and that is as I repeat connecting with God frequently. Um, you must always examine your conscience at the end of each day to see uh, what there is you have to ask forgiveness for and it's through that connection and repentance that you free your mind and soul and you, what you're freeing it from is actually toxicity. It, it's, it's, it's toxic environment that you've allowed your heart and your mind and your soul to be locked up in. So being open to God's way and prayer, it sets you free. It's like a tonic. It just sets you free. I often use the term prayer is medication for your soul, but it truly is. I really mean that. So I want you to always think about Smile and be thankful because there are much more blessings that cross our path today than, than we're even aware of. So we need to be looking for them. Tell someone you appreciate them. You know, smile at the lady on the checkout. Tell her thank you. Say, look, you do a good job. I appreciate what you do. Uh, an act of kindness or charity that comes from your heart from your heart. You're not doing it for recognition. You're just doing it because your heart tells you it's the right thing to do. Pray for those in your community, um, your, in your family. You know, if your children are going to school, pray for the school. It, your, your role is in your local community. You're not going to change the entire world overnight. But what you can do is start where you live. It begins there. And so what I would like to leave as a parting message or something to think about is that truly it does begin with you. So today, make a difference in someone else's life and that in turn will make a big difference in your life. You can do it. I know you can. Remember to subscribe to my channel, ask any questions and also we have our website www.mynoahidefamily.com and remember, begin today. I know you can. Bye.